There's not much more frustrating than a movie that has such a great concept with so much potential and they just can't quite pull it off. Welcome back to The Haunted Beard, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Today, I want to give you my review for the new Netflix film, Disappear Completely. This is a horror film coming out of Mexico. And as I said, this just dropped on Netflix and definitely flew under the radar. I haven't heard anybody talking about it. In fact, myself, I only heard about it just a few days ago. But it sounded interesting, gave it a watch, and wanted to give you my thoughts, so let's get into it. After visiting a crime scene, an ambitious and insensitive tabloid crime photographer falls victim to a mysterious illness that makes him lose one by one his five senses. And Disappear Completely has so much going for it. We're introduced to our main character right at the beginning. His name is Santiago. He's this freelance crime photographer. He goes around taking pictures of crime scenes. Think of something like Jake Gyllenhaal in Nightcrawler. Kind of a similar character, maybe not quite as intense or crazy, but he is a scumbag. He, he's definitely doing some unethical stuff, looking to profit off of crime scenes and people's deaths and, and making money off of that. He's bribing cops and stuff like that. And not long into the film, he is called by one of his police friends to come visit this crime scene where this senator is found unresponsive in his home. And he shows up there and he's taking pictures of this dead body on the ground. There's rats everywhere. And he gets his pictures. He heads back to his car and he gets knocked out by some stranger. He wakes up and then the next morning he starts losing his senses. And Disappear Completely is kind of a weird one and, and also a frustrating kind of movie because I think there are the ingredients here for a really solid film, but the ingredients didn't get put in in the right order, and it's like they added too much of this thing and, and too little of this thing. And so, unfortunately, in the end, it was just a little bit of a bummer, and like I said, I just feel like there was quite a bit of wasted potential. The first half of the film is kind of underwhelming, and it gets a little bit slow and a little bit boring. There needed to be more to the first half, and I wish they could have fleshed out some of the stuff they did in the second half and brought it into the first half of the movie to kind of level things out. So the first half of the film, it, it almost starts taking on this predictable type quality to it because we already know the basic plot of the movie. This guy is going to eventually lose all five of his senses. And so things just play out in a very straightforward sort of way. There's not really any other subplots going on. There's not really any more depth or anything else happening in the movie. We're just kind of following this guy as he starts losing. He first loses his smell, then he loses his taste. There's a little bit of something going on. There's some conflict with him and his girlfriend, but there's just not really much story here to kind of get us through the first half of the film. Now, as his condition progressively gets worse, you know, he goes to a hospital, gets checked out. Eventually, he sees this witch doctor as... You know, he thinks there's something spiritual or supernatural going on. And so a, a bit more of a plot kind of starts to develop. And so that helps a little bit. But really, up until about the last 25 minutes, th the movie just kind of fell a little bit flat for me, unfortunately. And I, I just I didn't really feel like the fear, the stress, the anxiety. It, it didn't really come through as much as I would have wanted it to. It just it didn't really come through with the impact that I think it should have. Gradually losing your five senses would be absolutely terrifying. And for about three quarters of this movie, it just kind of felt a little flat and it just didn't really land with the impact. I felt like there's just, again, kind of this missed opportunity, missed potential for really kind of amplifying this thing and making it into some sort of, you know, really intense anxiety inducing horror movie. But it just doesn't quite hit that. But as I said, the film picks up a little bit in the second half, which helps. But then you get the last about 25 minutes and the last 25 minutes of this movie are pretty good and like really effective and really memorable. And the film takes on this investigative mystery type aspect. And I wish that they would have gone with that angle from the very beginning, because as it becomes more of a mystery and he kind of turns into this investigator, they kind of have to like fly through some things that I wish they would have been able to kind of flesh out more. 
And so I wish the film would have started from the beginning when this first happens to him as this sort of horror mystery investigation type movie, because I think there's enough there for them to to have a really compelling story. But unfortunately, they kind of reserve it all to the last, you know, 20 to 30 minutes. But like I said, that last little bit are really well done. There's a particular scene towards the end of the movie, and I'll keep this vague, but it's a really unsettling scene. It's got just some really nice imagery, some really creepy atmosphere, some very just eerie and unsettling atmosphere that works really well. And then the final scene of the movie, I also was pretty impressed with and thought was really effective. And so Disappear Completely is just kind of a weird one because like I said, there's the ingredients for a really solid movie here, but it needed a different order of things and a little more of this and a little less of that. And so overall, it's still just kind of a middle of the road type movie. I'm, I'm kind of somewhere between like a five, maybe close to a six in terms of, of my rating on it. I might still give it a, a slight recommendation just because I think it does help, obviously, that it ends on, I think, a pretty strong note, but just kind of getting through the first three quarters of it, it, it was just a little frustrating and just kind of missed the mark, and I felt like there was just so much wasted potential there. Those are my thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you got something out of this video, go ahead and do me a favor and do not click that subscribe button unless you want to be haunted by the beard.